Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Crypto Disruption. My name is Tommy. And I'm Tracy. Today we got a great project for you. Um, Mandala, an exchange. I got an interview with the CEO Nate Flanders. It's, uh, it's a really good interview. But first, before you do any of that, if you haven't already, and why haven't you? Yeah. Subscribe, soon. share, don't forget, click the bell, and we're here to bring you great content, so be here for us. Definitely. Um, hit the little bell. Like Tracy said, you'll get notifications of our videos when they come out, and it helps us to continue to put out good, solid crypto projects and a lot of interviews because, you know, that's, that's where you get the most value, hearing it from the horse's mouth. Exactly. All right. So... We, we have this interview coming up with uh, Nate Flanders from Mandala. I am, I'm really excited about this project because it is a second generation um, exchange. Yeah, and when it comes to this project, I think the word is user friendly. Yeah, definitely user friendly. And you know, we've all felt the pain. Oh my God. <laughs> the pain of the exchanges that we've gone through over the last, uh, like, you know, six months, maybe even a little bit more at this point. You know, once crypto really started to ramp up, these other exchanges, they weren't able to handle customer support. They literally shut down new users. I mean, people were trying to buy exchange access, I remember at some point. Um, you know, email support takes forever. People's money gets locked up. I, I've heard, just heard so many horror stories about exchanges. Well, and the thing I like and what they really captured is that blockchain was created to bring us all together. And their platform, it says that their mission is to bring the blockchain to the universe. What they're trying to do is to um, connect the universe through blockchain. That's what their mission statement says on their white paper. They use the mandala symbol, which uses the Fibonacci, which uses nature, the symbol mandala mm -hmm. is universe. And so they're really projecting this, bringing everything together. And I really enjoyed that statement. Yeah, so you'll see in the interview, we talk, we talk a lot about the exchange. We talk about the tools, um, the ease of use, the, the fact that um, they've got a mobile app, they have a, a hardware wallet that they're working on to and go their support. Yeah, to go hand in hand and their support. Um, you know, they're they're gonna have live support. So live chat support. I mean, who'd imagine? Who'd you imagine? Know, I mean, this is this is taking exchanges to that next level. You know, what what many of us might have been used to in the stock trading world. Um, you know, that that level of support, that level of tools. So what I would say is um, there's a couple exchanges out there and I'm not gonna name their names here but they should you know who you are yeah you know who you are and if you're a user on those you know who they are too um, they should maybe be a little bit bit nervous because you know I know for me anyways um, when this thing launches if it's even half of what Nate and I talked about I will probably be leaving some exchanges <laughs> well, listening to the interview I was really excited about the opportunity that they want to bring the user um, experience that they're really going for and he just seems so pumped about the idea of having this super user friendly site that is it's visually something else yeah so I'm, I'm excited yeah so um, a little bit about it um, again they're they're in their pre-sale now um, and they'll be entering their um, ICO after that, but they're in pre-sale right now. Um, the amount of tokens, and I'll, I'll kind of go over this, and I, I think it's important because we all know what exchange tokens have done in the past, and I'm going to show a couple examples on here. So this is really exciting to me because the potential here is um i'd almost say life-changing in a sense you if know it is what they are projecting to deliver i feel like this yeah. will go very far i mean the people that got into binance or kucoin at, at first um the it, the the returns that they got really were life-changing mm -hmm. and so if they're able to get anywhere close to that this is just gonna this is gonna be really really good for a lot of people um so to jump over real quick this is a bit about the token. The token symbol will be MDX. Um, they have a soft cap of $3 million. They've already blown through that. 
So they've already hit their soft cap. They're on their way to their hard cap. Um, it's at seven cents a share. Uh, uh, I said share. <laughs> seven cents a token right now. There's 260 million tokens. So again, there's not billions of tokens. No. It, it it is very much in line with what both KuCoin and Binance did. They're they're just shy of 200 million tokens. So it's in the same realm, you know. And if we look right here at, at KuCoin, you know, KuCoin started down here. They were at uh well, you know, what we've got is the U.S. price about 80 cents or so. They shot up all the way to about $20, maybe about $20, $21. I had it written down here. Uh, KuCoin, uh, yeah, $20 at, at their all time high. And they're back down, you know, right now, everything's gone through the correction stage. So again, doesn't worry me. I think, I think all the all time highs that we saw for any project with value, we're gonna hit it again as as you know they come back. Um, so you know they're at at almost four dollars right now. But still, you know if uh, Mandala could go from seven cents to four dollars, I mean I'll holy, be all right with holy that. crap, you know. Yeah. Uh, Binance, same sort of thing. You know they they started down here. Um, U.S. price, well, where were they at? About thirteen cents over here, and they hit an all time high of almost twenty four dollars. Um, you know, and they're on their way back up. So this just, I, I'm just showing you guys this because it gives some relevance to what they can do. And again, total supply is in line mm -hmm. with what Mandela has. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm really excited about this project. And so what I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and, and jump into this interview and then we'll wrap it up after that. All right, uh, thanks everybody. Today we have Nate Flanders. He is the co-founder and CEO of Mandala. Um, welcome, Nate. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, great. Glad to have you. Um, so let's talk about your exchange. Um, you, you've got an exchange coming out. We're all excited about new exchanges. Um, you know, maybe let's let's back up and get a little history on you. Um, you know, who who are you, and and who are some of the leaders in in Mandala? Sure. Um, so my, my background, a uh, serial entrepreneur, um, come uh, with a history of uh, wholesale, logistics, marketing, um, uh, casino business, uh, my own. And then in 2000, early 17, kind of got really deep into the business development side of uh, cryptocurrency and launching uh, companies, you know, uh, within crypto. In particular, one being Decent.Bet, uh, an online decentralized exchange with uh, some really unique attributes where 100% of our profits are shared back with token holders that stake their um, DBETs in the house. So uh, we had a crowd sale there in September, and it was hugely successful um, with some great things happening with them right now. And middle of last year, kind of through that, I had an idea for an exchange um, you know, I own one of the largest, most active, or co-founder co in one of the largest, most active crypto groups uh, on Facebook with over 114,000 members now uh, called Crypto Coin Trader. And we were seeing an onboarding of users um, that were starving to trade and invest um, on exchanges and, and really just couldn't find uh, solid ground for education or, um, you know, training courses along the way, everything's so open-ended, it seems like. So we, we thought, how do we create a product that uh, will assist and, and hold that hand for new investors and, and new traders um, throughout the whole process? And that's where Mandala was born. Um, December, my partner and I, Anumph, uh, who's actually a co-founder of Mandala as well, uh, and CSO, and we, we really started hitting the ground running with this um, in de December, early January, started to put together our team who's uh, we have an incredible team uh, have been moving at light speed uh, built our, our developing partnerships and building uh, partnerships behind the scenes that we're, we're excited to announce so it's uh, it's moving quickly it's very very exciting yeah y'all do have a rather large team I mean I, I've got it up here on on the website and so it, it's nice to see you know everybody on there and everybody's LinkedIn profiles attached as well it you know, definitely helps lend to credibility. Um, you're seeing that more and more, but I still find projects that either nobody's listed or they're listed and they don't list their profiles. So it's yeah. nice to see that on your site. And I, I definitely remember the, the times of either not having any education for the exchanges or not being able to get on the exchange. 
Correct, yeah, when they blocked registration, so we remember that too. And then yeah. you know, the, the other side of it for onboarding members, you know, it, it's money they're, they're dealing with. They want to invest. How do we, how do we help these people secure and, and manage their risk in this extremely volatile market? So, Yeah, because I mean, that was really painful for a lot of people. You kind of saw them. I need an account. And then it went into the whole selling accounts. You know, I mean, it just right. got crazy there. And so... Um, you know, it's nice that you guys are spinning up and I, I, I watched your video. You have a really good video on your homepage, um, you know, kind of talking about an exchange being available. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing y'all have scaled and you're scaling to have that influx of people with the ebb and flows of crypto. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, with crypto right now where it is, we're, we're at the foot of mass adoption. Although there's a lot of companies popping up, it, this is just the beginning. You know, we want to have a, a platform that, uh, is inviting and easy to understand for the masses that we we think we're going to be seeing uh, inflow into the crypto space. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, crypto is like you say, it's just at the leading edge. I, I mean, there's there's such a small amount of people invested, and when you look at overall population and the amount of people that are invested in stocks and other things like that, crypto just has a sliver of that. And you know, it gets me scratching my head when the other exchanges couldn't handle a quick influx, but still even that influx was still just a sliver. And I'm like, what happens when this hits mass adoption? Absolutely. So yes. that, that, that was a major um, factor in the development, the development and the technology we're bringing to is the scalability. Uh, we're not able to talk too much about it right now, that, but we are bringing some new technology that will absolutely uh, harness any amount of, uh, influx of users if we ever hit that spike again, which is really impressive. We're really excited to, to kind of share that in the coming weeks. Well, that's, that's awesome. It, it's, it's good to know that y'all have a plan. I'm an old IT guy. So as I was seeing those, uh, you know, those, those limitations, I was just thinking to myself, you, you should have some sort of cloud. So just spin up news. You know, I mean, there's all those things that I know you can do to, to handle a surge, you know, like that. And right. uh, it was like, uh, just a little frustrating to me. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, and, and a lot of the exchanges, they, they, it, it wasn't, uh, you know, nobody can see the future. I know these exchanges, they did a really great job with what they could. And, and I know a lot of them are, are um, improving on the back end. We just, uh, we, we like to stay ahead of the game and, and really analyze every aspect of the market and how we could improve it with this exchange. So I, it's, it's a massive project. It's hard to conceptualize without it here, but I think once, once we bring it, it'll be, uh, everybody will really understand the, the meaning of the, the second generation of exchanges that we're bringing. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the second generation. Me too. <laughs> um, I, I really am. I know. Um, because, yeah. It, yeah, it's very much needed. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it gives me the goosebumps actually every time you know, I know where we are right now and I, I can't wait to share it with the world. You know, it's, it's uh, going to be something for the books. That's awesome. So um, the, the other pain point that people have with exchanges is poor customer support. Sure. Yeah. So I, I mean, are, are y'all, I'm sure you're aware of that and you've got a plan, you know, Absolutely. So that goes in hand with the scalability. It's uh, the customer support end. Um, the, we have a big focus on customer support and we want to bring in systems initially where we have uh, a real-time chat system with fully staffed, trained uh, individuals that can handle issues, you know, just as simple as wallet transfers or um, sending transfers to the wrong address, which hopefully... Um, the systems we have in place right now will, will mitigate that from happening often, but that just is an example. Um, but we want people to be able to reach out and feel comfortable uh, with time frames, timeliness. You know, we've seen issues in some other exchanges uh, and, and it could be from uh, the big influx, but months for responses, right? For issues on exchanges. And that just is not feasible in a real business, right? So yeah, I, I mean, I know, <laughs> I know my clients would kill me if I went months without um, right. answering them. And I, I mean, I did have a bad experience with an exchange. I'm not going to name them on here, but um, it took three months to get a simple confirmation email that yeah. was supposed to be automated, but something happened in the automation of it. And I had to open four support requests and wait three months before they finally 
just sent me that 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 simple email. And like you said, with a simple chat system, right, would have been taken care of right then. Yeah, so we're going to have um, an on-site um, live chat system, and then we are road mapping a, a trained call center to have the all time frames covered for live support, real support, calling someone. I mean, this we're 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 facilitating people's money, right? So yeah. if it was my uh, if I was in the other shoe, I'd want to be know I want to know that I'm I'm taken care of and I have that that direct line of support if I need it instantly. Yeah, because I see I see people's complaints all the time. Um, my money's locked up. I've been waiting for it for a month or two months. Exactly. That's scary. It is. It's terrifying, and we don't. We, you know, and that's that's another that's another thing to uh, mass adoption is that you know it's we see and of course this down market a little bit sideways, but people are honestly there's a sentiment of being scared on the retail level. They're you know they they don't want to. This is their hard earned money. They don't want to have not have access to it. They don't want to lose it. You know they. They want something that is supporting them in, in creating some type of wealth or the opportunity to. Right, right. You know, and uh, at, like you said, at any time, it, it is our money. It's our hard-earned money. We work hard for it, and it should be available. now. And I get that, you know, sometimes there's some processing time to send something through. But, yeah, waiting like a month or two months for your cash Sure. Yeah, there should be an immediate line of communication. You know, the, the, whatever the situation may be, sure, there may be a, a, a time frame for a process to be completed, but the, no way longer than 24, 48 hours, right? So, yeah, definitely. Absolutely, absolutely a big focus. So, we, we want to keep the respect of our users uh, and, and let them know we have, they have our full support. Well, and I, I think if y'all do that, um, you're not going to have any problems because. I see a lot of people complaining. They complain on Twitter, you know, wherever they're complaining about to the exchanges and they're only still on these exchanges because there's nowhere else for them to go. Right. Yeah. And, and we see, and it's, you know, you know, not speaking negatively towards any exchange. I know growing pains. I know the market's new. I know it, you know, that it, there, there's um, evolving that uh, some of these existing companies need to do and they're working on it. I, you know, I, I hope in most sense, but yeah, uh, we just want to cover all that right out of the rip. You know, we want to bring it to it's, it's, it's a happy place, a, a supportive place right as soon as we launch. That's awesome. So do you have any features you want to cover? I mean, um, um, yeah, so a, a lot of, uh, without having the working product available to demo uh, just yet coming soon, but okay. the, the, a lot of the feedback we get is like, oh, it's another exchange. What's making you different? Um, not only the support, you know, or the, um, the scalability or the security, it's the actual feel of the exchange and the functionality of the exchange. In particular, on the front end for the, the uh, user-friendly version, uh, which we have, yeah, a little snippet of our uh, UI UX here. So we have a, uh, if you see the three widgets underneath the chart here, the profit and risk strategy, the signals, alerts, and trade assistant, those are all semi-automatic and fully automatic tools um, that use proprietary data per user to help with risk management, you know, and risk tolerance for users. That's one of the major things, reasons um, new users to investing lose their money. There's no uh, real system to help them manage their risk. You know, it's always, there's always going to be just one big green candle, but that's just not how markets operate. So yeah. this system will pull data for a risk profit um, strategy based on their unique portfolio, their balances in their portfolio, the profit and loss over X period of time, as well as positions across the rest of the market and determine uh, and suggest where they should have their take profits and their um, stop limits to mitigate losing their entire holding or losing you know, massive amounts. So with that, it'll generate each position entered on a, every pair page and it's a single click apply to position. You can apply that entire strategy. So if it goes straight to their take profit, they guarantee a profit. But if the market turns for whatever reason, that they're ensured that the, the uh, stop limits, you know, at the either suggested rate or custom rate is hit. And um, it then moves into what can be done in the trade assistant, which is our fully automatic system and look for a new entry. Uh, oh, wow. The signaling and alerts. So, these features, uh, they're going to be available to every user. However, within the signaling, the alerts, and the trade assistant, there will be premium strategies, custom strategies, 
that are going to be locked um, to the average user, but they can be unlocked utilizing our MDX tokens. So you pay a small fee in MDX to unlock um, custom signals, either generated by our system or the um, peer-to-peer, so users can share their signals or strategies um, and be unlocked with MDX. And the trade assistant will have uh, full automated trade systems um, that can be unlocked with premium features as well. Wow, that's really exciting. This, yes. this is like moving the way towards, you know, big stock exchange sort of trading platforms in a sense. Right, and it's, and it's not data. Um, so for example, we've got a lot of questions about the automated trade assistant and uh, a lot of people jump to it being a trade bot. Well, trade bots uh, with our experience in, in algorithmic trading um, in the past, if you have every user access to a bot with the same strategy, in the market, they start competing with each other and the bot is almost null, it, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing this uh, proprietary uh, data catch with the trade assistant. So where 85, 80 to 85% of the automated trading is actually pulled from their unique user data uh, based on their portfolios, their balances, their positions and others, their risk tolerance, and compiles it and then uses the remaining 20 to 50, or 15 to 20% uh, on the actual signaling and market strategy. So a bit of personalization in there. Correct, yeah. And it's awesome. easy to read. I don't know, uh, you know, there's the, not many people have really gotten into algorithmic trading or, or using even the, the, um, the trade bots that have a user interface, but they're, they're not simple um, in most cases. They're not simple to other, understand. So it, for each one of these services, the semi-automatic and automatic, it'll have a full single click apply to position with some very easy to read and understand um, customizable preset fields. Well, that's great because like you said, you know, with some of those bots, you almost have to be an engineer. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or a programmer. I mean, um, there's the, the, the raw algorithmic trading uh, that can be done through some uh, major trading plat or charting soft platforms is you have to have uh, kind of a, a coding background or a programming background to really get it to adjust. And it's, uh, we just want to make it simple and clear. Well, that's cool. I, it's nice to see crypto starting moving to move in this direction because, you know, I mean, essentially it was, you know, a lot of coders and things like that and engineers were, you know, really the first people on board in a sense. But if you want mass adoption, your tools have to be able to be used by, the average person. Yeah, we have to eliminate the boundaries of entry, right? Yeah, so definitely, um, awesome. Um, so we covered your team. We covered uh, you know some of the features. Um, do you? And uh, you might not be able to say this, so that's fine. Um, are are you able to disclose? Um, let me see if the best way to phrase this. Um, do you know how many uh, tokens or coins you're going to be launching with? Or, you know, is it going to be sure. like one of the other ones, which is four? <laughs> and so um, with the tokens we're able to list, there are, I can give the amount where we're in talks with between 20 and 30 companies right now. Okay. Um, I, I can't disclose the names just yet because there's no, it's not finalized. Yep. Uh, the biggest hurdle for us right now is the uh, SEC compliance route that we're taking. Um, so we either have to target the companies or partner with the companies to list them that are already compliant within their um, country's security laws one way or another, or help these companies that are interested in becoming compliant and incubating kind of the process uh, with path of least resistance to become compliant. So. Okay. are moving quickly on the back end with to have a, a great selection of uh, coins and tokens that will be listed. Uh, but we, we have to save the, the name dropping announcements uh, for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I figured you weren't able to, to disclose that. And, uh, you know, what I wanted to get out is you, you're, you're going to be get launching without, you know, and not just have like three or four that yeah. are available. Uh, yes. So a little bit on that too is um, liquidity, right? So when an exchange launches, if you have no liquidity in the books and the books are, are stagnant, mm -hmm. you lose interest. So um, in our experience, uh, just in, the, in this industry and in the trading and, and uh, resources, we've actually partnered with uh, five to six 
um, maybe six is pending, but six exchanges uh, to share liquidity uh, throughout their books. So if they have a token that we are listing on their books, we'll be able to share full liquidity. These six exchanges combined generate up to $6 billion uh, in trade volume daily. So that's a huge portion. So we want to bring full liquidity right out of the rip. The other portion, for example, our NDX token, or maybe a new company that's going to be listed exclusively on us. It's their first exchange listing. We've partnered with some of the largest market-making uh, companies that will come in and actually provide full liquidity, price stability um, for our users. So that's really exciting. That, that, that's the liquidity part was – um, you know, kind of on my list of things to ask. So it's exciting that y'all already have that covered that that will lend for a really smooth start. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. Can, uh, can we buy in with fiat or do I need to? Good question. Um, because of our route to compliance with the SEC, uh, it is in our roadmap. Um, there are particular regulations that we are already uh, spearheading, but for fiat in particular, it takes 12 months under okay. regulation. So um, we, we're moving on it now, and uh, we anticipate 12 to, 12 to 16 months maybe for fiat onboarding. Hopefully in that time, regulation will change a little bit and we can expedite it. But, you know, we'd rather uh, under-promise and over-deliver in that sense. Awesome. Fair to say it's on the roadmap and it's actively being worked on. So, you know, I, I think to most people, that will make them feel better and, and they know that it's coming. So. Yeah. Absolutely. We will be bringing fiat. It's just a matter of time and regulation. Yeah. And I understand, you know, in or it is so important now to have regulations wrapped around this and to be compliant, um, you know, because that's where some of these fears, you know, when you see the FUD come out and stuff like that, it's, it's typically around regulations and exchange, you know, it has to do with exchanges and stuff. Uh, yeah. And so that's, you know, some of people's fears is, you know, are they following regulations? And it sounds like you guys are following that path. More and more companies I'm talking to are following the path of regulation because they know it's coming. Absolutely. Um, it, it's a, it goes back to exactly what you say is the fear uh, of, of investors. We want to spearhead compliance. We want to we want to uh, be honest, you know, in operations. We, we don't want to be categorized as the wild, wild west, you know, and and uh, kind of be a gamble for people to, to put their money in and, and exchange. We're, we're ex absolutely spearheading the, the regulation. We have our full compliance with the SEC and, uh, and pending our state-by-state -state, uh, money transmitter licenses, our uh, alternate trade system uh, li licensing. It's, uh, it, it opens the door for a lot of uh, retail investors that were either fearful and then also institutional investors um, that are staying away due to lack of compliance or regulation. Right, right. And that's exciting. And I would rather, I mean, personally, I would rather know that an exchange or a project or a company, you know, whatever we want to classify it as, is following regulation and it might take them longer to get something accomplished, but it's following the guidelines than to be you know, quick to market, and then we'll figure that out later. Because exactly. And, and the thing with the quick to market part in, uh, is they, they, you know, maybe they generate a big profit and they have no interest in moving forward on compliance and, and really uh, progressing their platforms. So, you know, we want to take the first steps of compliance, uh, get that out of the way, you know, earn the trust of, of not only the financial regulation agencies, but also the, the users institutional or retail. I see on the little image here, you got a mobile app as yes. well? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So easy to trade by the phone, easy to trade on your, on your system. Yep. Um, so it, it's actually pretty cool the way the, uh, the mobile app works. So the chart is um, actually stays in the same place and you can swipe between the different widgets that we're displaying on the mobile um, to use the same profit risk uh, management systems of signals and alerts. Um, so it's, it's pretty, it's condensed, easy to use, um, very, very smooth. So nice. So all those tools are available on the mobile app as well. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, the tools are available online, but they're not all fully available on the mobile app. So it's nice to know that you guys are going down that path too. Yeah, definitely. 
So the tools on the desktop portion, you know, that they're, they're, they're kind of geared towards that, that mobile feel, real simple, you know, single click buttons. So it was easy to implement into a mobile version for us, you know, just through um, slide pages, which was nice. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your roadmap. Um, let me just go down here to it. So we're in Q2 right now. It looks like um, you're, you're looking for a full release in Q4 and a yes. beta release in Q3. What was that? And, a beta, and a, a beta release in Q3 and a full release in yeah, Q4. Absolutely. So um, that goes back kind of uh, without giving away too much, the uh, under promise over deliver. Um, we've got some really, really exciting announcements coming up in the next two weeks. Um, that may change those timelines a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, we might have to do a follow-up video in a couple weeks. <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to be a very, very exciting uh, time for sure uh, with what we, we have to announce. Okay. Why don't we talk about your token a little bit? Um, you know, you mentioned it being used for, um, for the tools. Is, is that all the tokens used for, or are there other aspects in the platform that you can use the token for? Sure. So there are absolutely other aspects. We wanted to create kind of a full micro economy with the tokens. So not only do you receive discounts uh, in multiple vari in, in different variations uh, for trading, withdrawals, um, unlocking the premium functions, but also we're integrating a full uh, kind of social media aspect where users can create profiles. They can generate following uh, on the platform. They can uh, share their content, share their strategies. They can lock their strategies and have them unlocked by users peer-to-peer -peer purchasing with MDX tokens. The MDX token also in that social aspect we used as a, a tipping coin. So if a user is sharing uh, content for um, trading strategies or is you know, absolutely crushing technical analysis or sharing some really great fundamental, their following can actually tip them with MDX tokens in small, in small chunks you know, and, and kind of set the amount. So, it's pretty interesting of the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, ability to earn, you know, within the platform for curating good content to their followers. That's exciting. Um, I also saw y'all have a hardware wallet coming. Yeah. yeah, so that's actually one of the uh, most unique pieces to this. We're, uh, we have a manufacturing partner in uh, overseas that uh, is helping develop a hardware wallet that we can integrate to our exchange uh, seamlessly so users can... Uh, store their private keys from our exchange offline in their own possession, uh, as well as access the ex exchange is what we're keying the, the 3FA. So they'll be able to log in using a biometric um, scanner, fingerprint scanner on the uh, hardware wallet, as well as trade real time from their hardware wallet uh, in the trading pairs. So we'll have a system in between acting as an escrow to sign these, these transactions for users that utilize the hardware wallet to trade. Wow. You guys, uh, the, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at this roadmap and the more we're talking, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited to, to see this. The hardware wallet is really, really exciting. So we have the manufacturing partnership in the works already. The, uh, the other exciting part is we are, um, without exposing any names yet, is working to build a partnership with some of the leading uh, industry leading hardware wallet companies available now to okay. integrate our system to be used not only on our exchange, but hopefully across um, other exchanges as well. So we think that's super important to be able to store your private keys. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's my money. Why, why don't I have the private key, you know? Right. So. Awesome. Um, let me think anything else that, um, let me think if there's anything else of, importance that we want to cover. Do you have anything um, going into the, the token sale? Um, do you have any bonuses, anything for, you know, the users yeah. up in that? Sure. So right now we are in our pre-sale stage uh, and there is a 25% token bonus for any contributors up until May 31st. Um, we have already smashed our soft cap of uh, 3 million US dollars, which was very exciting. We did that in the um, first seven or eight days. Uh, June 1st starts our main sale, which the, is a six week long um, sale period. The first week being a 10% uh, token bonus. The second week being a 5% token bonus. 
and the remaining four weeks being a 0% token bonus. So there's no uh, additional incentive on the last four weeks. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, um, let me ask you this, because I've seen this with some other um, exchanges that are kind of coming around. Are you going to have are you going to have a time that you're going to let in somewhat like beta testers or users a little bit early to, to get a real world feel of it and get real world feedback? Absolutely. So we're going to have the alpha uh, that comes out and we're going to actually run um, uh, maybe some kind of fun community engagement uh, with limited seating to come in and, and kind of pressure test the exchange before beta. Um, so that should be coming at <laughs> Coming soon, right? So, <laughs> um, and then after that, the beta will be uh, uh, public to everyone, uh, and that the beta process because we have a full third-party auditing team as well that'll be um, really smashing the security auditing, the functionality auditing. Um, so we expect only the the alpha and beta period to be maybe combined a two-week period of time, and then go to full launch. Okay. Yeah, I did see that you had annual financial audits in here. Um, tell me a little bit about security. I mean, when, when it comes to an exchange, you really want to make sure it's secure. You know, what, what are y'all doing, um, you know, to, to make sure that you're, you're as secure as possible? Absolutely. So um, outside of the hardware wallet, which is an optional uh, level of security, we're going to bring some of the, you know, the industry leading standard um, security protocols to the exchange, uh, such as 2FA. Um, and we've also partnered with um, some of the largest cold storage uh, companies to handle all the, uh, the actual handling of the crypto that's, that's stored within our system. Um, and their, their security pro um, protocols is bar none. Um, we also are going to be integrating for those that don't have the hardware wallet, uh, a system for login that's actually going to be the an optional ability for facial recognition, um, which is pretty interesting. So that's cool. Yeah, awesome. All righty. Um, let me think. Anything else you wanted to cover? Um, I think we've we've covered it all. I'm I'm really having to uh, walk a straight line here with not uh, revealing too much about this news coming up soon, but. Um, I think I think if we come back in a couple of weeks on this video, the sentiment will be much different. We'll have uh, have some awesome, really special things to share. You know. Yeah. So what I'll do is, um, yeah, we we can talk about um, you know may, maybe circling back around when it's it's time to uh, you know release some of that news. Yeah, I, absolutely. Um, well, thank you, Nate, for yeah. joining us today. Um, Thank you very much. I'm excited for your project, and uh, I definitely want to follow it and, uh, and keep tracks on it over time. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for having me. This was great. Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. That was Nate Flanders from uh, Mandala, CEO and co-founder of Mandala. Uh, awesome interview. Um, great opportunity. Again, just to recap the, the coin, the, the tokens. It is a soft cap of three million. They've already blown through that. Token symbol is MDX. Price is seven cents a token. Two hundred and sixty million is what they're offering. If they don't hit that, they're gonna burn anything that they don't hit. So you know, if they only hit two hundred million, then we're gonna have two hundred million tokens because they're gonna burn the other sixty million. But they've already blown through their hard, their soft cap on their way to their hard cap. And, uh, they're, uh, and their 25% bonus is still live until the 31st of May. So Yeah, definitely. There is a pre-sale bonus in there. And then, it, it, you know, as you heard in the video, there are tiers to that. And, you know, like normal, it, it kind of uh, does kind of tear down over time. So, um, again, not a financial advisor. Not a financial not advisor. Not a financial advisor. Really excited about this project. Um, I'm, I'm definitely jumping into this one once. I can, I'm in the U.S., so I got the KYC Limitations that, being that, what they are. that you know, we have to deal with. The fact that they are SEC regulated, you know, they're going, going for Huge those perk. regulations. Um, really, really big because, you know, um, you want your exchange to be regulated. Absolutely. So they're, they're on their way there. And I think they're really going to be able to compete with some of the top exchanges yeah. not 
not like the the little bitty exchanges out there but i think they're going to be able to compete with these top exchanges yeah, they are positioning themselves to be at the top of this pack so yeah. we'll see how this yeah. plays out so if you're stuck on an exchange you're unhappy with that exchange keep this project in mind keep an eye out for it because um you might have a good chance now in the future when some of those exchanges tweet out mm -hmm. and instead of uh saying when are you going to do this or how about thinking about customer support you can say hey guys i'm out of here i'm going to yeah. mandala head on over to the mandala mandalaex.com and read over everything they've got uh, very easy to digest white paper they've got some great videos and some wonderful things to review so that's what we got for y'all today as always Trade, Trade responsibly. responsibly.